In the skies above Morocco, Yves Rossi throws himself out of an aeroplane to begin his jet-powered odyssey. With his wings unclipped and his engines roaring, he morphs into an intercontinental human missile. The trained pilot steers by tipping his body from side to side. It is a delicate operation. At all times, he's flanked by airborne paramedics to ensure his safety. But a few minutes into the flight and he becomes lost in cloud as disaster beckons. Anxious moments for his team as the cameras try to pinpoint his position. It's clear though, Jetpack Man is in trouble. The organizers believe a problem with one of the engines caused him to abandon and open his parachute above the turbulent waters of the Atlantic. I mentioned to him that uh, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't worry whether he makes one kilometer, one meter, or the entire challenge because just the act and the courage to attempt it is what is the brave and the act that is worth and notable. The recovery is well practiced and Yves Rossi is quickly plucked to safety and a local hospital. Just a few minutes after it started, the adventure is over, but to the relief of his loved ones, he's escaped unscathed. Well, in the end, it was all very anticlimactic. We were hoping to see Yves Rossi soaring from the skies of Africa over the Atlantic to this beach in southern Spain where the world's media were gathered. But it didn't happen. His sponsors, though, say he will make another attempt in six months' time. It had, though, begun with such promise. The wind had dropped and visibility was good. In previous challenges, Yves Rossi had defied nature and soared through the air like a comic book hero. This time, his aerial exploits ended with a splash, but this 21st century Icarus is safe and well and promises he will fly again.